In this video, we show you how to force restart into recovery mode and more on your iPhone 10, 10s, and 10R. The first thing we need to talk about are the buttons on the iPhone 10, 10s, 10s Max, and 10R. These buttons are very integral to performing the various functions I'm going to show you in this video. So you have your volume up button, and then beneath that you have your volume down button. Now on the opposite side of the device, this is the iPhone XS Max, by the way, you have your side button, formerly the sleep slash power button on older iPhone hardware. So now that we know the buttons, let's get started. Now the first one is an easy one, how to power off your iPhone. And you're gonna use either of the volume buttons plus the side button in order to do so. So you can press either volume up or volume down along with the side button to initiate the power off process. So holding the volume down and side button and release once you see this screen right here. And now all you need to do is just slide to power off just like that. And that's how you power off your iPhone. Now, if your iPhone is off and you wanna power it on, all you do is you press the side button once like that. You don't have to hold the side button, just press it once and you'll see the Apple logo come on and then your device will boot back up. Super simple, super easy. Now here's where things get interesting. How to force restart without a home button. Now if you're an iPhone 10 user, you probably already know this, but if you're new to the home button list devices, listen up because I'm gonna show you how easy it is. All you do is you press the volume button up, volume button down, and then press and hold the side button. Volume up, volume down, hold the side button, continue holding the side button, and then your device will restart. Just like that. You can release the side button now, and then you'll see the Apple logo. Eventually, <laughs> there it goes. All right, so that's how you force restart. Now let me show you how to enter recovery mode. This is obviously going to depend on you being connected to a computer with iTunes installed. In this case, I have my MacBook Pro connected with a lightning cable. You're gonna to need to trust your connection there. So if you see that trust button come up, you just tap trust, put in your iPhone's passcode, which I'm doing right here. And you'll need to authenticate if this is the first time connecting to your computer, just click continue. This is just a one-time thing. Now to boot into recovery mode, you press volume up once, volume down once, press and hold the side button and continue holding the side button. Don't let go. And your phone will reboot. Make sure you still hold the side button there. So you wanna continue holding even with the Apple logo appearing Then you should see the connect to iTunes dialog. And now it's safe to release the side button. And now you are in recovery mode and you should see something pop up, a little prompt pop up on your Mac or your PC in iTunes, asking you to either restore or to update. You can choose however you want to go about it. That's up to you. But that is how you enter recovery mode. Now how to exit recovery mode. Super easy. All you do is press and hold the side button like this. So you wanna just hold the side button until the screen goes black like that and now you can release. And then after that, you should see the Apple logo appear as your phone reboots back to normal, just like that. And then we're gonna show you how to enter DFU mode. This is a little bit more convoluted, but similar to recovery mode, you need your iPhone connected to your Mac or PC, obviously. Uh, we've already authenticated. We're gonna use the volume up, volume down buttons and the power button in order to make this work. So just follow along here. It's a little bit convoluted, but just follow. So you press volume up, followed by volume down. So volume up, volume down, hold the side button, and you wanna hold the side button until the screen goes black. Now, once the screen goes black, you wanna press and hold the volume down button while still holding the side button. So count one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five 1,000, release the side button, while continuing to hold the volume down button and keep holding that button until you see a prompt on your computer acknowledging that you're now in recovery mode. It should look something like this. So the next obvious question is, well, how do you get out of DFU mode? It's not as easy as getting out of plain old recovery mode, but it's still pretty straightforward. So you press volume up, volume down, and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. So this may take just a second, so be patient. Eventually though, you will see the Apple logo appear on screen. 
There we go. So now your iPhone will reboot back to the home screen. Now a couple little bonus details, how to disable Face ID. You can do so using the volume buttons and the side buttons. So press either of the volume buttons and the side button, hold them until you see this screen release. And now Face ID is disabled when you press the cancel button. You'll have to enter your passcode to activate Face ID. And then you can use the same technique to invoke emergency SOS. So hold either of the volume buttons and the side button, but this time continue holding those buttons. You can see the little countdown if you let that thing go all the way to zero, it will automatically dial emergency services and notify your contacts, your emergency contacts with your location. You can also slide that button as well. Obviously not something you wanna do unless there's a real emergency. So as you saw, these methods are a little bit different because we have an iPhone without a home button, but it's still fairly easy to do all these things using an iPhone 10, 10S, 10S Max, or 10R. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.